It's a great day here at Toner Cable Equipment. My name is Bob Jenkins. I'm the federal sales representative for Toner. I've been doing this for about 25 years, and uh, believe me when I tell you, I enjoy every bit of it. Uh, relationships are great in the world, and, and appreciative of all that. Today, I want to talk to you about a product that I find uh, pretty special. We've had great success with it. Um, manufactured by a company called Well AV, partnered with Sencor. Um, they, the product today is the CMP100, uh, soon to be changed to the OmniHub 16, so soon down the road this will change to a different part number. But just want to go through this platform with you a little bit, kind of show you what it does here. Um, so very dense, 16 card slots, redundant power. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of the modules we're using here. But this chassis will do IP in and, in and out. It has two gig E ports, so you have plenty of uh, headroom for your traffic, as well as GUI ports for you to go in and do all your settings for all your different modules. So let's go through a couple of the modules. We have an SDI module here that we could do SDI in with embedded audio or SDI and embed the audio via a terminal strip. Two channel card, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, IP, or QAM, we can deliver this content out. The next card I'm gonna show you is our HDMI card. This is an MPEG-2 only card. This will allow us to do HDMI in with closed captions. So we have our, our CVBS inputs or our CC inputs, we'll call them on this one. Uh, they embed the captions so that we can then encode to MPEG-2 send this out in QAM or IP. Then we have a four channel card, HDMI. This will do MPEG-4 only and of course the closed captions pass through on this particular card. And then we have, then we have our LMB card, we'll call it the DVBS2 card. So we can take our satellite input right into this card. If there is encrypted content, and it is ported to this device, we can put our CI Mod cards in here to decode that signal so that we can then send it through the back plane and deliver it out IP or QAM. Then we have our next card is our CVBS card. This is for SD encode. It can do MPEG-2 or MPEG-4. This allows us to do four channels per input. So there's a, a, a DIN plug, breakout cable to do up to four SD encodes per slot. So eight channels total in this card. And then we have our QAM card. So this is a 16 channel QAM card, non-consecutive stream or non-consecutive channels. You could put the QAMs wherever you want in the spectrum. Uh, and if you're not limited to 16 channels, we can add cards based on what our, we're putting in here from a content perspective. We can loop IP into this. So if you have 80 channels and we're looping into these chassis, we have the ability to output them because there's plenty of bandwidth within these units. 